Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about shift operators in Java. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about different operators, bitwise, logical, and and arithmetic operators. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so we are having left shift. The symbol is a less than less than symbol. Right shift that is greater than greater than symbol. One more right shift is there. Greater than greater than greater than. Three symbols are there. So it is going to maintain. What's this right shift to greater than symbols? It is going to maintain the sign bit. That is what this right shift means. It is not going to maintain the sign bit. It is unsigned. So what is this signed and unsigned? We are going to understand with examples. Many of the programming languages like C, Python, we don't have this right shift. We will have only these two. Here we are having another also. We are going to understand all these three. But uh, watch this class till the end because the explanation which we are going to provide here help you a lot in solving the placement exams and gate bits easily. So coming to the example, assume that int a is equal to 10. The value that present here is a 10. B b is equal to a left shift 1. What is the meaning of this one? Shift 1 time. If you mention here 2, a less than less than 2 means shift two times this shift operators are the bitwise operators so what what's happened when you when you apply the shift operator let's try to understand that see this is the 10 value 10 value when you converted it into binary number this is the 10 value see we are mentioning only here for 8 bits assume that this is 32 bit Showing 32 bit is little bit confusing. That's why we are taking only 8 bits. 1010, 240, 241, 242, 2 cube. 2 cube means 8. 2 square, uh, 2 power 1 means 2. 8 plus 2, 10. This is what the binary value of 10. Remaining all are zeros. Yes. So left shift means the first position bit, you place it as 0. So the first position bit you have to place it as 0. Actual first position bit is moved to actual first bit position is moved to second bit position. So 0 is moved to second bit position. Second bit position is moved to third bit position. Third bit position is moved to fourth bit position. Fourth bit position is moved to fifth bit. Fifth bit position is fifth fifth position bit is moved to sixth position. Seventh position, so on. This is how left shift happens one bit moved to left the starting bit will be placed as zero so 10 when you do left shift what is the value you got this is what you have to understand so b equal to a left shift one a is 10 10 when you shifted one time and the value which you got after shifting is placed in b if you display b it is going to show it as 20 when you do the left shift of 10 value, see what is this value? 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 cube. 2 cube, 2, 2 power 2 means 4. 2 cube, 2 power 4 means 16. 16 plus 4, how much it is? 20. So 10, when you left shifted it one time, you got a value of 20, means multiplied by 2. That is what happening when you shift one bit. Similarly, when you do it as b is equal to a left shift two times after doing it one time, this is what we got two times means again left shift one more time. So this this number again, we are writing it here again shifting one more time because you have you have to do it two times here. So the first position is zero. The first bit, the first position, actual bit is moved to second bit position. Zero is moved to here. This zero moved to here. One, zero, one, zero, zero. The last bit is going out. It's not there. So what's the value of this? So when uh, actual value is 10, when you shifted one time, you got 20. 20 again shifted, you will get 40. Let's check it is 40 or not. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 cube. 2 cube means 8. 2 power 4, 2 power 5. 5 means 32. 32 plus 8, 40. 
this is the value of 40 so left shift means the point you have to understand left shift means you are going to get a value that is multiplied by 2 by actual value if actual value is 10 multiplied by 2 means 20 actual value is 20 means multiplied by 2 means 40 that is what happening when you left shift similarly similarly we, we are going to understand right shift right shift is not going to be done as it is like left shift there is a small change in right shift you have to understand that right shift a is equal to 10 so b equal to a right shift 1 means one time you have to right shift if it is 2 you have to do it two times let's take the value a is equal to 10 this is the 10 value uh, how right shift happens let's try to understand the procedure the first bit means from the most significant bit, po bit position the first bit is copied as it is 0 copied as it is if it is 1 copy as it is the first bit is moved to second bit position second bit uh, second position bit is moved to third position bit third position bit is moved to fourth position so on the first bit will be gone out so 10 when you right shifted it what is the value you got 240 241 242 242 means 4 240 means 1 so that is equal to 5 10 divided by 2 that is what happening when you right shift it one more time i, I i'm going to explain you how right shift happens the first bit the first position bit from the most significant bit this is copied as it is down the first bit is moved to second bit second bit is moved to third bit third bit is moved to fourth bit that is what happening in right shift similarly a greater than greater than 2 2 means two times this is also one important point you have to understand in the right shift 10 when you right shifted one time what you got 5 again 5 take the 5 and right shift it what happens let's check it the first bit copy as it is first bit moved to second bit position second bit so on third bit fourth bit fifth bit sixth bit this is the value of 2 5 divided by 2 actual value is 2.5 but what we are going to get here this is the value of 2 we are going to get an output of 2 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5 but here it is integer we are going to maintain only the floor value of 2.5 if it is 10.5 floor value of 10.5 means 10 floor value of 2.5 means 2 floor value maintained floor value of 5.5 means 5 the least value we are, will consider it as floor value seal value means seal value of 5.5 means 6 seal value of 10.5 means 11 but here we are going to maintain floor value this point is very very important in order to understand the next example which we we are discussing on negative numbers let's take a is equal to minus 5 b is equal to a greater than greater than 1 means we are doing right shift one time this minus 5 is this is the value of minus 5 how we got this this is two complement representation of negative numbers java is going to use two's complement representation of negative numbers this point we already discussed in the beginning if you are not good at what's this two's complement representation you have to watch number system concepts in digital logic design without that concepts don't start learning programming languages it is very very important to understand number system concepts that helps you a lot in deeper understanding of the concept of programming languages now coming to this the first bit will be copied as it is this is minus 5 this is minus 5 first bit copied as it is and first bit is moved to second bit second bit is moved to third bit second third bit is moved to fourth bit fourth fifth fifth sixth sixth seventh seventh eight so this is the value of minus 3 minus 5 divided by 2 which is minus 2.5 here we are maintaining floor value floor value of negative numbers is minus 3 floor means minimum value minus 2.5 minimum value of minus 2.5 is minus 3 because this is negative numbers which one is small minus 3 is smaller minus 2 
minus 3 is small that's why it is maintaining minus 3 so when you right shift it this is the value of minus 3 these points you have to remember you have to understand for solving the placement examples very quickly so this is how left shift and right shift is going to work in any programming language not only here in uh, java in c in python the same way it is going to work but one more option we are having in java it so it is see here this is maintaining the negative values negative sign positive numbers when you right shift it you are going to get positive number negative numbers when you right shift it you are going to get the negative number here it is maintaining the sign that is what we have discussed in the beginning maintain sign but when coming to the right shift of three greater than symbols it is not going to maintain sign always you are going to get a positive number that is unsigned number so what happened here let's try to understand a is equal to minus 20 b is equal to a greater than greater than greater than 1 means right shift one time so minus 20 when you return in 8 bits this is what minus 20 means but assume that this is a integer variable we are having a 32 bits so the numbers that before are all ones that is how two's complement representation will be the see how this this right shift is going to work is the first bit position always plays zero this is exactly similar to left shift which we discussed above so this is how it is going to run. the first bit always plays zero the first bit position is moved to second bit position second bit is moved to third bit third bit is moved to fourth bit fourth bit is moved to fifth bit fifth to six six to seven seventh to eight so this is the value it is going to be displayed so minus 20 when you placed it actually this is negative number the last bit will be one negative numbers what is the last bit value in negative numbers it is one if you make it as zero it is not maintaining the sign it is positive number so this is the value it is going to be displayed 10 7 3 7 4 1 8 1 9 assume this is 32 bit that's why you are going to get this number so that's why this is we call it as unsigned it is not maintaining the sign so this is how right shift works for a three greater than symbols hope you understand the shift operators in java if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you